3D printing is one of the most exciting new dental technologies of the last five years. Whether you're printing night guards, digital dentures, models, it doesn't matter. Because we're trying to figure out how we should be doing these things and if they're so complicated. That's why you're lucky to be here with us today because we're unboxing this beautiful Accuretta sole and show you how easy dental 3D printing can be. Welcome to Henry Shine Unboxed. So first thing we're gonna unbox is where Accurate wanted us to start, which is this unique box to them called the Concierge Service Onboarding Kit. So it comes with access to priority support, one-on-one -on -one 3D printer training, product exchange in case of uh, damage, that's something you really want in a 3D printer, CAD-CAM design training, and then access to continuing learning resources because let's face it, the 3D printing world is constantly changing. So hats off to Accurate for this, this is really, really cool. And more importantly, here's our software. So um, I'm gonna put this aside. Okay, so cool thing about the box before we even do anything else, QR code which brings us to the Accuretta installation portal with a bunch of really, really cool videos on how to get everything set up. Let's crack this bad boy open, right? Let's get into it. So what's in the box? Got our spare parts. We've got our spare vat and tool kit. Not bad, right? And then we've got the power cable and a Wi-Fi dongle. So that means that the Wi-Fi is not integrated. Don't know how I feel about that, but we're gonna keep moving. And then, got our printer. So let's push this down this way. Oh yeah. Woo! Wow, beautiful box. Absolutely gorgeous. No little peelies, which makes me upset when I open up new stuff. I always like to peel the stuff off. Accuretta, take notes. Garbage to go. And we can see here on the inside, we're gonna remove our extra plastic. That's holding down. You like that sound? We're also going to cut this without being very careful not to cut it, uh, which is our build plate. So for anyone who's a new 3D printing enthusiast who doesn't really understand all the things I'm saying, let me just bring you through the basics. So this is a build plate. Build plate is essentially where you're building to, meaning that there's going to be liquid that we're gonna be putting into the actual resin tray. The resin tray actually fills with resin. When we actually set everything up, this little guy, what it's gonna do is, it's gonna push down into that vat of resin, and then a laser's gonna come from underneath and it's gonna cure one layer at a time. And then it's gonna suck itself up, and then it's gonna push itself down. And it does this about a thousand times. And then eventually what you get is, you get something on top of it that looks like a, 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 a 3D printed appliance. So and usually that process takes anywhere from, you know, 30 minutes to an hour, uh, which is way better than casting it, setting it out to your laboratory. So really, really cool. So one thing I will say is the build plate uh, doesn't seem like it's, it can fit a lot if you go horizontally. Uh, people like to print things vertically. So if you actually print vertically, you can actually fit and stack print a bunch of things, so don't get caught up in that. How many night guards you are printing in a week? Small build plate's fine as long as you know how to deal with it. This is your resin vat. It's a couple of, of things here. You're gonna see it says remove from the bottom for printing. Why does it say that? Because the laser has to shoot through the bottom of this clear material to cure each thing one layer at a time. Pops back in there and then we're gonna lock it in and we're set. Uh, I think this is a lock. So like, yeah, so even it has like some safety features. And I love stuff like this. I'm a little bit of a tech nerd, but when it comes to this stuff, really, if, if somebody doesn't care and they go to shut it, soft close, that is pretty dope. So one thing uh, that makes me a little bit nervous is that the Wi-Fi is not integrated. So you have an extra part, but it comes with USB slots in the back of, of the printer. Uh, and you'll see here in the back, you just plug this in and it'll work. Or you can just, directly hook it up to your network using the provided ethernet cable. Uh, if, your wire, if your office is wired up, it's great that they provide you with a wireless option or a wired option depending on where you're gonna go. So what do we got in here? Spare vat starter toolkit, whatever that means. 
So it comes with an extra vat. Most companies make you buy this, so the fact that they give you two in the box is pretty sweet for the package. And it looks like, from the looks of it, this is a handy dandy little storage container, which is cool. Uh, what else do we got? Yeah, usually what you get with 3D printers is you get this basic stuff. So this is a scraper. They give you these cool flush cutters. And the reason why they give you flush cutters is a lot of the time when you're doing prints, you have these supports and you have to cut them. And they give you a spatula because when you open the resin after it's in storage, it could separate on you. So they give you this almost like you would mix a cake. You just mix it back together for like two minutes. Really, really cool, like not skimping on the value on the tool set. I'm like, for the, for like, you know, the cost of this thing, you figure you'd get a bunch of like, you know, really cheap single use plastic throwaway stuff that you're eventually gonna have to go and replace. This stuff looks like it's built to last. Another really cool thing that they add here, which I didn't realize is spare print screen. This is a spare screen for the printer. So I guess if anything goes wrong with your, your printer screen, you can replace it. Really cool. Next thing, let's say we've printed our print. We had to wash it with isopropyl alcohol. Why? The actual prints come out wet almost. They're like, there's residue all over them. This is the cleanie from Accuretta. So let's, let's pop this open and see. Okay, a little snug in there. You have your two containers, your purple containers that you fill with isopropyl. These are little baskets. So if you have like little like stuff that like is like small like dyes or single crowns or little things that you're printing, like these little baskets, stuff doesn't get lost, which is, which is nifty because there's a little fan in the bottom there that like, you know, agitates everything. You don't want that to like motor to get clogged up. So really, really cool. This is the cleaning unit. Uh, it looks like it uses internal magnets probably to push that fan around because it doesn't have any moving parts. So if you're a true tech nerd like me, you know, less moving parts, less problems. Really, really a cool unit. This is uh, their brand new product that they've just released this year. Curie Plus glass panel. It's like dental Christmas. We've printed, we have our print. Right? We've washed it. And then what you're gonna do next is you're going to put in a cure box, right? So this is how we get it to completely harden to the full uh, temperature of the manufacturer that they dictate. It has USB slots for the, for the Wi-Fi dongle, as well as, uh, again, another provided ethernet cable. Really cool to see. We have this glass plate. So inside of here, the tray is gonna come out. Glass plate is where everything sits on. So really quick, let's open her up. I mean, it doesn't get any cooler than that in a dental office, does it? All the information on your print is automatically gonna be uploaded. So it knows exactly the parameters it's supposed to be cured for, which is a really cool feature. It's actually one of the prettiest systems on the marketplace, I would say. It's gorgeous. It's very, very clean looking, really, really smart the way they thought things through. And if you're like a new doctor who's looking to get into like night guards or models, you gotta get on the boat at this point. The time is like now for 3D printing. Jump in with something like in, in this price range, which is very affordable. They're providing you with every single tool and resource in the world to get you trained up. Is it gonna do everything in the world? No. But is it a good entry level printer that's gonna get you from point A to point B and get you where you need to go? Yeah. If you're working with us at Henry Shine, we're gonna be with you at every step of the way. Accurat is gonna be with you every step of the way. It's not an environment that you have to go alone. You can always phone a friend. For all of us here at the Unboxing Series, thank you, um, and uh, we'll see you next time. If you'd like some more information about the Accureta printer, please click here to be contacted by a Henry Schein representative, or please click the link in the description.